Uh, greetings. Good day again with you. We want to tackle a subject where I don't know how it reach level where it reach, especially amongst the Rastafari community. But it's something, you know, when you just start Rasta, I hear Rasta about Zion. You know, you have some little song where them sing, I want to go to Zion. Or you can't go to Zion with no carnal mind. And Zion is a whole place, you no know, sin can enter there. Now, I have the opportunity to go to Zion in Jerusalem, the city of the great king, which was King David, according to them writing. When, when it say, the Bible say, Zion, it a talk about a city in Jerusalem, up on the outskirts of Jerusalem, it's a mountain top. Not very tall mountain, because today you can find tourists uh, venture up there. I remember them show me one place and them said this is where David too is. I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but me and Tony Rebel have the opportunity to go in there. I said, Wow, well, David very inside us. So I do a business still, the card for me check it. Anyway, Rasta talk about Zion over the years and you know, him then shift from Jerusalem Zion to Ethiopia Zion. So most Rasta when them talk about Zion. They really are talking about Ethiopia as Zion. And the reason being is that we tend to have a Judeo Christian mindset as it relates to Rastafari. And it's very difficult for Rastas to come out of that Judeo Christian mindset. Especially when him associate and validate most of him thinking with Judeo Christianity. Now, if recently, I can't remember one long time, a whole heap of elder rats are there, they can't dead. They're not dead, and if you're dead, I show you wicked. And yeah, they used to say that. To those of you who don't know that, they used to say, if you're wicked, if you're dead, I show you wicked. And they're not dead. Yet still, since we hear that, I arrested nearly 50 years now, over 50 years now, I see a whole heap of ones who used to say, dead. And even Peter Tash should have said, can't dead. I remember Peter Tash saying, can't dead. Tell him, wife start believes that she can't dead neither. And now we say, they're gone. No, why may I bring up that? Rasta must stop talking about when a Rasta dead him gone to Zion. It's foolishness. And it's the only way you say that is because you think in the heaven perspective where you start to claim, say, Instead of you say if you say Zion, to your Rasta you say Zion. Christian say if you say well I'm going to be a better place. Oh you know say it's a better place. When a Rasta say a man a Rasta dead and I'm going to Zion. How come all of a sudden it's pure dead Rasta in a Zion? When I never did that see it that way there. I never did that. I never did hear Rasta talk about it that way there. But recently I hear Rastas dead and now I say, boy, I give thanks to God as I had a better place. A madness. We get caught in the same Judeo-Christian mindset that we need to move away from. We are moving away from it. I will come get caught in it now. We need to really evaluate these interpretations that we have. And how Judeo-Christianity has played a part in pacifying our thinking, pacifying consciousness and pacifying our awareness. There is no better place in Zion. Zion right now, the physical manifestation is a tourist attraction. And if you talk about Zion now as a heavenly place, then you have to really resort back to the Bible and Christianity. And it's that we did say, we have, we have been out for a long time, Roman this and Roman that and all them things there. It's really a weird situation. I'm going to find more and more and more now. When Rasta dead, Rasta man has said, them gone as I and I, Well, you know, them gone a better place, them gone as I. That is what old people who are Christian used to say. Not Rasta. Rasta never say, Zion is a place of dead Rastas. Or Ethiopia. When man say, I want to repatriate to Zion, it means I want to repatriate to Ethiopia. So by the time say, I want to go to Ethiopia, I want to go to Zion. Because that show how deep him in, in a Judeo-Christian mindset. That him can't say nothing outside of that. 
So he start to associate all of the things them that is real with the unreality of the things them that he believe. And it's really a belief system that caught a whole heap of Rasta over the years. Whole heap of belief system. You know, man saying can't dead and as a matter of fact, he, he, he quote some things in the Bible. Quote some things in the Bible. We are sure you say, it's only the wicked dead. But I and I live forever. But when he must say live forever, you know, he not talk about a spiritual awakening, a spiritual manifestation. He might talk about physical. Holy Parasta believed that and still believe it. Still believe it. Say, him can't dead. After him dead in the earth and see so much things are going around him. After him in the earth and see all this pollution and this wickedness and man, terrible things against man. Him sit down in the earth and say, all that will pass over him. No, sir. No, sir. This is ridiculous. We must stop saying it because it come like we turn wayward. Come like we turn wayward. Now we must stop saying there is no dead place for Rasta's name Zion. And if I go talk about dead place with Rasta's in Zion, I better we just talk about if not done because not that we did that say in at the beginning. You know, and if you start talk about if no, I better we just talk about Jesus. And people talk about all of the things them that we say we are moved from and start find this new cultural expression, this new revolutionary expression in the Rastafari. Give thanks.